wanted to show you um, how to cut this chili pepper card apart in Inkscape so that you can cut it in Sure Cuts a lot. Um, I still use Inkscape even though Sure Cuts a lot has the trace feature. Inkscape just gives me a lot more flexibility and it's pretty darn simple to use, especially if you're working with SVGs that are already designed for Sure Cuts a lot. So a gal on Facebook was looking for a uh, some kind of a card for her son's uh, birthday he wanted a Mexican theme so I put together this quick 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 sketch and this is how it works so um, this is the mode that you work in it's just kind of your basic mode and here uh, at the top we also can look at the outline mode the outline mode basically shows you uh, where the cut lines are going to be in sure cuts a lot so what I'm going to do is break these pieces apart, move them around so that when we save them as an SVG, you can just import them straight into SureCutsalot and not have to do any cutting and pastings or, or breaking apart. So what we'll go ahead and do here is these are just basic rectangles just for the card. Again, this was a super quick sketch. There wasn't anything really terribly fancy about this sketch. Um, uh, I put it together pretty quickly. So this is um, the hot peppers. These are really the elements that we're looking at most of all. We're going to move those over here. And uh, birthday, fiesta, I'm guaranteeing you're going to want to change those words so we'll get rid of those. And here's another rectangle that we're going to be working with. Now when we uh, move back to normal mode you can see those colors of those cards and I like to make as many elements as possible in black I don't know why the trace feature in um, in the shortcuts a lot software works really good if you have things in black and white so that's that's why I'm gonna do this I mean I'm going I'm working with an SVG but I will convert it to a bitmap so that we can um, import it using the trace feature because I want to break these pieces apart and only cut the pieces that I want. So the next part of this is let's go ahead and break out the chili pepper part. You can use your shift key to highlight more than one thing at a time, which I'm going to do. The way I can move all those pieces over and we'll paint them black by just clicking the black button. There they go. The next thing I'm going to do is move these leaves over. and again I want them black then we have these elements and we'll want these black now I made my document in Inkscape a 12 by 12 sheet which fits my mat that I work with in shortcuts a lot and the way that you do that is go up to file click on document properties and over here change this to inches 12 and 12 that will resize your mat to be 12 inches and with shortcuts a lot too you don't have to worry about these images and their sizes becoming distorted. They fix that somehow. In the first version, they were really distorted and it was kind of hard to work with. Now we're going to want to export this into a bitmap. And we're going to export the entire page. And let's go here. And we're going to call it Chili Pepper Card Example. and it, we want it to go into um, my file that I work with all the time and I'm going to hit export okay now I want to go back over into shortcuts a lot too I'm gonna make my screen here just a little bit wider get rid of these basic shapes because I'm not going to be working with those too much and I'm going to go use the trace feature because I took that SVG and I converted it to a bitmap look into my folder that's got my oodles and oodles of designs. There's my chili pepper card example. And you'll notice that it's all showing up here in black and white so it should be really easy for shortcuts a lot to trace it. I'm going to hit preview. There's all the elements. If I just imported this into an SVG all these elements would stay together on the page but I don't want to do that. I want to move them to different pages so that I can cut them. So I'm going to choose break apart the lines and then hit OK. 
really easy. That's why you'll find out that most of the files that I'm putting on adamsacres.com are in SCUT already instead of SVG so you don't have to go through this. Again, I did this really fast on the fly and I think the lady that um, asked for it could, could do this pretty quickly. So now that we have all these pieces, right now they are in a group and I'm going to ungroup them because again I want to move the elements. So I'm going to hit a copy and I'm going to add a page and I'm calling it chili pepper background so I can stay organized. Hit OK. And I'm going to paste that here so that I know. Uh, the next thing I want is I want my chili peppers. Highlight all of them. I accidentally. There we go. Highlight all of those. Those are the next pieces that I want. I want to copy those and I'm going to put those in a different page. Call those the chili peppers. Put those here. There they are, and you can move them around. I'm not going to do that for the sake of the tutorial, but there they are. And we're going to have to put the leaves on. That way I know when I go to cut these, these are the colors that I'm going to want. So if I happen to someday want to make purple leaves, I can do that because they're already on a separate page. And then here's the boxes right here. Those are just simple rectangles. You can make those as big or as little as you want and whatever you need there. But that's in a nutshell how you can convert an SVG into a bitmap so that it can easily be traced and broke apart into shortcuts a lot. And you'll notice that these images and the sizes are not distorted at all. So that's really great. Um, one thing you could do is if you think that this is too big, which it probably is for a card, go ahead and um, resize everything before you cut and paste it. So I kind of got an inclination that I want this to come down to maybe an 8. So now everything will um, resize when you do keep proportions, okay? This is Charity Adams with Adams Acres Scrapping at adamsacres.com. Stop by and pick up some free cut files and show us what you're making. Have a great day.